is HET 119, electricity tube, motor controls. Week 5. The objective for this week assignments will support the HVAC learner to recognize the differences between pictorial and schematic type diagrams, understand the reason for the two different diagrams, develop the ability to read and interpret HVAC diagrams, develop the skill of troubleshooting HVAC systems by using a electrical diagram, develop the skill of wiring a HVAC refrigeration system by using a pictorial diagram. In this introduction of this week's assignment, an HVAC technician must develop the skills of interpreting electrical diagrams to service and install HVAC and refrigeration equipment. Without this skill, the technician will not be competent in truly understanding how the equipment operates and how to repair a problem. The majority of the technical problems a technician will come across daily will be electrical issues. Therefore, gaining the skills of reading and interpreting electrical uh, issues is very important to the progress into a journeyman technician. Knowing how the sequence of operation of a piece of HVC equipment operates can be determined from the electrical diagrams and without a diagram the technician will be guessing at the problems and ending up replacing components until they replace the correct parts. Furthermore, schematic drawings are used by technicians to troubleshoot electrical systems because it uses a logical representation to show how an electrical system operates and a pictorial diagram is used to show how an electrical system is physically wired. Some of the terms we will cover this week pictorial diagram, schematic diagram, line diagram, motors, line voltage, control voltage, contact point, safety controls, and limit controls. So the question is, what is a pictorial diagram or drawing? A pictorial drawing uses symbols and lines to give a representation of the HVAC and refrigeration equipment and allow the technician to understand how the electrical system is wired and connected. This is the best use of a pictorial uh, diagram because it physically will show you exactly how every wire is connected to the system and it will allow the installer or the technician to be able to understand how wire for wire and piece by piece how it is uh, centered within the unit and how it's connected to the unit so it's great for that purpose. In this drawing here you can see there is pictures and drawings of uh, components and you can see even the thickness of the wire or the shading of the wires is showing you how it is physically connected. So it make it easy. If you've got one part to replace, you could just look at it directly and you could tell that um, how it is connected, how many wires is going to that uh, component and so forth. But if it was a different type of drawing such as a, um, a schematic it would be completely different. So pictorials are good for replacing components electrically. So what is the purpose of a pictorial drawing? Pictorial drawings ease the installation of wiring of HVC equipment and it allows the service technician to make replacement of components because pictorial diagram shows the location and how wires are connected it leaves out any guesswork for the technician. However, Pictorial is very difficult to use for troubleshooting and should never be used for that purpose. Pictorial drawings are easy to read for physical connection of wiring, but it is troublesome to read for tracing the operation of the system. In this case, schematics are used for troubleshooting. So what is a schematic drawing? Electrical 
schematic drawing uses symbols and lines to give a representation of HVAC and refrigeration equipment and allows the technician to understand how the electrical system is controlled and how it is operated. Electrical diagram is also known as electrical diagram or circuit diagram and basically if you look at it it's just a very elementary way or I could even put it this way it is very logical it's a very logical way to understand uh, how electric flows through a circuit and because of this uh, schematic type diagram sometimes called ladder diagram because the branch lines are usually stacked on top of each other like the rungs on a ladder and so it makes it very easy to find out what's controlling the loads in each branch line so for troubleshooting this is the best tool to understand how a system is operating and electrically uh, uh, sequenced if you look at this um, pictorial and schematic drawings these are two drawings you see one is a pictorial with it the top drawing and you can see exactly the wires how it's connected and got pictures so it's easy to understand but the bottom one is actually a schematic of exactly the same thing and this uh, schematic you can see how the electricity is flowing it's a simplified way to understand how the current is flowing through a circuit so if you understand how the current is flowing through the circuit you understand how the circuit operate. This is a basic air conditioning drawing. You can see some of the components that's located in it. And if we follow through, we could point out some of the components that's in it. We could see the evaporator fan motor. We could see the condenser fan motor. We could see the compressor. We see a capacitor we see a potential relay other components such as the thermostat it's a 24 volt thermostat and we see a low pressure control a high pressure control and a contactor coil the contacts for this contactor is located down here there's a two pole contactor and you see that the other set of contacts in L1 and L2 and those contacts are controlling just the condenser fan motor and the compressor this is a basic heating uh, drawing and some of the components we could look at starting at the top we see the fan motor, we see the capacitor, we see the contacts for the fan relay, we see a heater, it's an electric heater, we see the contacts controlling the heater, the main contacts. There's a tr transformer, stepping it down to 24 volts, a thermostat, and this is a heating sequencer coil. This heater sequencer coil is controlling the main contacts in the high voltage, which is 240 volts, for the electric heater. And below that is the fan relay, which is also 24 volts. This is a basic refrigeration drawing. Uh, this is for a freezer. And we can see some of the components like the time clock, the time clock motor, the time clock contacts, the defrost termination solenoid, a defrost heater, defrost limit switch, a defrost termination thermostat, the compressor, the capacitors, compressor overload, and a potential relay. Using drawings to troubleshoot systems is used daily by 
uh, technicians to speed up the process of understanding how the system works to determine what the problem is. So using both pictorial and schematic drawings to troubleshoot HVAC systems is important to understand the difference in both. Depending on the purpose of the job, the technician will use the correct drawing. For servicing HVAC and refrigeration equipment, schematics will help the technician to trace the problem faster and easier than a pictorial. However, a pictorial gives ease in understanding how electrical components are connected and located. Electrical diagrams are used, like I said, for uh, many purposes. And you look at this diagram and you can see the technicians using a meter to be able to diagnose um, the current flow to understanding how the system is actually put together. So that's a pictorial diagram above it to look at how to interpret the information from the system. But to actually to troubleshoot, a schematic is the best diagram uh, possible. So to summarize this week's lesson, there are many types of HVAC systems with many ways to control the equipment, but understanding how to read electrical diagrams will aid the technician to understand how the equipment operates. Both types of diagrams have a specific purpose. Pictorial drawings will help the HVAC technician to understand where the wires are connected and how the wires are in the system. Schematic drawings will help the HVAC technician to understand how the, to troubleshoot a HVAC system by giving a logical representation of the operation of a HVAC system.